James Lund is on my show today. It's a beautiful Sauternes wine from the producer Chateau Castelnau. Stay tuned for this review. Beautiful Lopiac, Cadillac, as well as the Sauternes wines. Sauternes is obviously on the map for one producer only, and that is Chateau de Queen. And Chateau de Queen is obviously very well known, very well regarded. It's an LVMH uh, producer, but in the stead, I would also point out there are so many other producers that are not going to have a high bottle price point, but in my opinion, it's beautiful wines. So people think of foie gras as well as blue cheeses. I actually think in a different way. So I like to think quite out of that box. Many different foods are gonna go well with this wine. Something salty, I think a really beautiful aged Gouda with its crunchiness and the salty characterization is gonna cut through that sweetness and actually harmonize it and uh, be a perfect pairing in my opinion. You can you know, choose, you know, choose your salty characterization that's gonna go well with this wine. Uh, a lot of people just serve this as a digestif. I definitely would serve this as an aperitif wine, and uh, you don't have to serve a lot of it. You can see in this wine glass here, a really nice burgundy glass. The, the reason to do so is very simple. To characterize the wine, you really want to smell and taste the wine completely. If you have a dessert wine glass, guess what? You're not gonna be able to smell that wine completely. Each of these wines are completely different. They're not gonna taste exactly like every other wine itself. So let me show you up close what this wine is. So first of all, really excited, 2006 vintage. What was I doing in 2006? So in 2006, I was a food and wine marketing manager. Um, back label right here. So 14% uh, ABV, 99% Semillon, 1% Sauvignon Blanc. And um, really deep, beautiful gold coloration. Almost like a 24 karat gold colorization. Now point score, 93 points out of 100 points. So in this I'm getting notes of uh, roasted pear, a bit of golden apples, white flowers, and a bit of honeycomb as well. Next, the uh, palette characterization. What I'm enjoying about this wine is, um, you do know it's a sticky wine when you're tasting it and smelling it, but really when it hits the palate, so it becomes this harmonious wine where I think over time is given this characterization a bit of a savory quality. Give it, you get a bit of truffled honey on this, so that savory and the sweet quality all at the same time. A bit of commas pear note, heirloom apple, a bit of mushroom quality. So it really is uh, weaving between these sweet and savory characterizations. Absolutely harmonious, beautiful. And I did try this and pair this with a really nice Gouda cheese that I have in house. So thank you for watching. Like buttons down below, questions and comments down below. Uh, subscribe button's right up here, so please hit that button if you haven't done so already, and if you have, thank you so much. And uh, many more wines to share on my wine table, so thank you for watching. I'd like to know your thoughts on Sauternes and Golden Bordeaux wines, the stickies. So uh, you can have a conversation with me. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Sante.